Hey again, Mr. Nano at the Rory Myers Children's Adventure Garden, and I'm down here in the Texas native wetlands. And I want to show you guys some of the amazing adaptations of the organisms that live here and tell you some facts about this cool, fully functional ecosystem that we have right here in the garden. So first off, I'm standing here by a water lily plant. And water lilies are amazing because they're almost fully adapted to live their entire life cycles in the water. Um, the roots are down on the bottom bank and the shoots come up and produce these beautiful circular leaves. Now, why is the leaf itself in the shape of a circle? Well, the reason for that is if it was a square or some other pointed shape, it wouldn't be able to sit on the surface tension of the water. It wouldn't be buoyant. And so that's very important. Another amazing plant that we find here are the cattails. You can see these, they have the big velvety looking flowers. And these have some amazing adaptations as well. So in a bottomlands wetlands habitat, which is what we're in now, a lot of times you have storms that are very violent. They can move the reeds and the grasses around with the wind. Because of that, you can see that these grasses are actually twirled, okay? They're whirled around and they group together so as the plant doesn't fall over when the powerful wind strikes. Another amazing thing is that the fruit itself, I can pull it down here so you can see, this velvety part here is actually the female fruit. And a male fruiting body comes out um, and produces the pollen, which then falls on. When this is fertilized, after a while, it'll dry out and these seeds will actually fly off into the wind. So that's amazing. Now let's take a look at one more really cool plant that unfortunately is sometimes overlooked when we talk about the wetlands. And it's actually all around me right now. If you can see this, these tiny green uh, plants floating around. Let me see if I can grab one. Yeah, so these are duckweed, and these are amazing because they provide shelter, a nursery for different types of animals and insects that spend the early part of their life cycle right here in the water. And so they, not only do they provide that shelter, but they also provide food for ducks, which is where they get their name, duckweed. And actually the entirety of the plant sits and floats on the water. It has roots coming off the bottom and these tiny little leaves at the top that gather sunlight. Perfect. Hey guys, so I've told you guys a little bit about some of the plant adaptations for those that grow here in the wetlands. But let's talk a little bit about the animals and other organisms that live here. Uh, this place has a lot of tiny little larvae, different insects. And above those are fish swimming all around me right now, around my uh, legs here that are eating off the duckweed and the other mosquito larvae that are here, which kind of helps the garden to keep that population lower. Um, we also have turtles, frogs, some snakes, and even uh, the occasional raccoon that comes here to our Texas wetlands. Um, it's the perfect habitat for these creatures because it provides them with camouflage, shelter, and of course, this wonderful water resource that we have here in the garden. So one more thing I'd like to discuss about the amazing wetlands we have here is the cleaning properties, the natural cleaning properties of this wonderful habitat. So you can see here I'm surrounded by grasses, sedges, cattails that I talked about earlier. And one of the great things about these is that they're almost like a natural filter system for nature. Um, I can lift up these roots here so that you can see them. They have dense, thick root systems all along the banks of this water. Well, what does that do? That prevents the soil from being eroded into our waterways. It prevents fertilizers and pesticides, agricultural runoff that would normally get into water that we make clean later for drinking. Um, and they also prevent toxic metals from getting uh, into the water systems. So in this way, the wetlands clean the environment. Um, they protect against massive storms, they shelter the banks. They truly are essential partners and they're good for people that live around them as well. So thank you guys for learning about the wetlands with me. I hope to see you down here next time you come to the garden.